Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Halicia, but I go by Lee. If you're new here, I actually make content about travel, sometimes makeup, we love a good look, fashion, and natural hair, which is actually where it all started. And as you can tell, the fro is back. I have been in braids for a minute now, and my fro is thriving for sure. She's doing a good job. So anyways, this is like the second part of the black owned business haul because in the last one, I only stuck to clothing and now I have accessories. I was waiting on a couple of pieces, but they're here. So I'll start off with the Avi in the sunglass category. I got two new pair of sunglasses from Lorve. She is quickly becoming one of my favorite sunglass brands. I just think that the sunglasses are very unique. So for spring, she dropped this collection and I got two pair, the yellow and the pink. Let me show you what they look like. Here she is. And listen, attention to details, everything matches. Over the top pink on pink sunglasses. These are a vibe. Legit perfect for spring. And I'm a huge fan of sunglasses where you can actually still see your eyes. The yellow is exactly the same way. It's yellow on yellow. But these kind of have more of a retro look to them with this circular shape. You don't see sunglasses like this too, too often. And I think that this shape looks really good the logos are different though these just say lorve and i think it's because the frame is so slim i got two bags one of them was sent to me and i've already posted her and worn her on instagram this is probably going to be like my evening summer bag of the season it's beaded and it's handmade it looks gray on camera but sometimes in person it pulls like this really deep purple this is extremely well made i also took this bag on princess cruises when we went and it has her logo in the inside i don't know if the brand is actually pronounced parade there she is super cute it is beautiful your phone does not fit though so that is unfortunate because the opening at the top is a little bit smaller so you could get like your wallet and things in there and like lip glosses sunglasses your essentials but the phone it's not happening the next bag i've had for a minute and i almost forgot about it but anyways it's a tell i'm so breezy when he came out with these I don't know if that was last year or the year before last he dropped the duffel bags and it was like they were sold out they were gone and i wanted this bag this reminded me of the shape of a louis vuitton bag that they used to have kind of like this barrel bag and i've always loved that bag so when i saw this one i was like yes and it was in brown perfect it gives the vibe it does have the logo embossed and then it almost has like little coin pouches on the side do i literally have paper in the listen they're functional child i got receipts and stuff in here they are on both sides it also does come with a crossbody strap this bag is a vibe i hardly ever wear the crossbody straps though but i do try to just keep them in my bags just in case i want to your phone actually will fit in this bag it's just so cute it's like and this is how I carry it, too. But crossbody, I, I'm not going to lie. It could be a vibe. The only thing about crossbody that I think would be interesting on, these bag, on this bag is that because this is a shoulder bag instead of like a top handle bag or something, when I hook that crossbody, I can't unhook these. So I'm just going to have like... They'll hang. Which honestly, looking at it now... That would be, I need to wear a crossbody. <laughs> I'll give it a try, you know? But yes, I finally put my hands on this one. And I think that this one is the medium size. I thought about getting that Azalea one in small when it dropped. I didn't happen. I backed away from it because I'm trying not to, I don't want 
so many faux leather pieces in my wardrobe, especially maybe not at this price point. I love Telfar and I do think that he makes amazing bags. However, this is still faux leather. So, you know, I would love it in leather. Speaking of leather, I have some shoes to show you guys from the Kendall Miles, okay? If you've seen any of my black owned business videos, you've seen me mention her and the feather mules, but these are her posh mules. Now, there was a video before that should be in this playlist where I actually say I needed these in leather, right? Because the original version of them is in satin and the new colors that she dropped are in satin also. But babes, I needed leather. Roll the clip. Kendall Miles. I do want her to make this shoe but in leather. Make this shoe but in leather. Make this shoe but in leather. Because then it's going to last and I don't have to worry about this. Here they are in all of their glory. Not only are they leather, but they are black. The sex appeal. These are forever staples. Flared heel for comfort. And black is a trending color for spring. I know, I don't know. But I kind of felt it in my spirit anyway. So, black summer. It's like a 3.7 inch heel. It, it actually doesn't feel like it's that high. These, like I wear heels, but I don't wear heels. If you know, you know. I'm typically in sneakers. And these are really comfortable to me. All of her shoes that I own are kind of like my stump around the city shoes. Those are the heels that I'm trying to match my fits with. Especially if I know I'm going to be out for a while. I want Kendall Miles. Her logo is in gold on the bottom of the shoe on both sides. And everything else is just black leather. Even the bottom of the shoe is black. And I think that that's beautiful and a detail that was not on the other shoes because the bottoms of the other shoes are like this tan leather, but it's just like a blackout, like full black effect. And of course, no studs. After a while, she took the studs off. These are amazing. Everything about Kendall Miles is, is consistent. Kendall Miles is actually a luxury shoe brand. Her shoes are made in Italy, but I have a 20% off discount code. So if you want to save some coins, use it. I have to find a home for these. Oh, never mind, did. And lastly is a pair of sneakers. I'm a Nike girl and I love Yeezy. Yeezy is kind of like on pause right now. And I haven't seen as many dope shoe styles from nike in a while i just feel like they've been lacking like nothing has really intrigued me i downloaded the kai app i want to say that's how you say it and i ordered some shoes this they did take a, a little while to ship maybe like a month and a half give or take before they arrived but it wasn't like something too insane and I never read pre-order. I don't know why in my head. I I don't understand why people still doing pre-order. I'm just like, when I order it, I want to get it. But I get it. Small business, you know, you, you need to account for how many orders you want. And you might not want to have as much waste and things like that. Anyways, I get it. The point is, they took a little bit of time. More time than I was expecting. But worth the wait. So worth the wait. I'm about to put this box down because it's heavy. This box is extremely well made. Now, this gives luxury. These, these boxes kind of remind me of Virgil off-white boxes. And I like that. It's pretty much better than most of the luxury brand boxes that I have. But these are the shoes. Now, the shoes look like a baseball in a sense. They're not white at all. They're almost like a, a muted yellow. And the stitching is crazy. I mean, look at the toe. I want y'all to get into these details. The toe is light gray and it has his name. 
logo on the bottom of your foot because he's stumping on your hoes. But the funniest thing about this shoe, and it's like, okay, I'm going through, I'm looking through the details. I'm like, this is cool. I look on the tongue. Yeah, this is what the tongue says. This was supposed to be a collab, but they bullshitted. Kai Studios. <laughs> Vibes. Energy. That's what I'm saying. People sleeping on the creativity. The details. Now, yes, this silhouette is very similar to a Jordan 1 High Retro. I'm going to give credit where it's due and give him his flowers now because these are dope. I have not seen any I, let me say this it is very rare that nike does shoes that are this detailed this over the top this intricate i got suede i got leather i got like nylon i got this crazy stitching i got double logos these shoes came with three laces they came with this cream blue navy blue oh four laces Oh, no, three. And whites. I thought they came in red, but they didn't. What I saw that was red was the dust bag that has a shoelacing detail. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I just think that the shoes are dope. If I see anything else from him that I just think is, like, out of this world, I'm definitely going to place an order on them. These shoes, I feel like, with shipping are about 300 Okay, now th that is the difference, okay, because most of my Jordans are like 160, 180. I think that 200 max is probably what I pay for any single pair of Jordans, but not these. So, you know, another thing I did notice that the sizing is larger. It's not this, I just assumed that the sizing would be the same as Jordan 1s but they are not to me his sizes run a little big so i'm actually gonna go down a half a size if i ever do order again because these are loose to me and i don't want to like strap my laces so tight to where they look like they suffocating my feet but i might have to because yeah they fit big on me or maybe the silhouette is just wider and that's why they fit like this because they're not as snug to my feet they fit more like a dunk would fit on me than like a jordan one would fit on me so i don't know maybe it's different but anyways they're they're a vibe so we love these and i love sneakers and even the colorway and the play on the details it's just sick the boy did a good job i mean down to the box like <laughs> that's it for my second part of my black owned business haul if you haven't seen the portion where i showed the clothes then just tap on the playlist in the description bar all of the videos are going to flow through make sure that before you go you like comment and subscribe you're already here you made it to the end i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye spear fingers <laughs> I'm sorry, all circuits are busy. Please try your call again later. Hendrix. And why should I need one? Uh, to have to say, we're done. And why should I